right guys what's going on jack here and welcome back to another video so guys for today's video what i have lined up for you guys is a full overview on my car on my mercedes a-class amg line premium so guys we'll start off with the outside with the exterior of the car so on the car in terms of the wheels we have got the 18 inch amg line wheels now these alloys are some absolutely incredible alloys they look absolutely amazing on the car and i love them to bits in terms of the color of the car it is finished off in a gorgeous white color i believe the actual factory color for it is cirrus white from mercedes with it also being the amg line we've got the diamond grille at the front of the car as standard obviously i will be changing that soon i've told you guys about that and i've shown you the new grille but that is the standard stock grille i just absolutely love the presence and the look of the exterior of the car it looks absolutely gorgeous there's not too much to really talk about on the outside of the car but it looks awesome so moving on to the interior then guys of the car and this is where it gets a lot more exciting and a lot more interesting as there is a lot more stuff inside the car than there is on the outside so to start with we have the seats and i have chose to do this video sat in the car because the seats are so comfy honestly i could sit in this all day it yeah the design of them and the comfort of them are amazing. In between the seats and throughout the car, we have LED lights. I think there's about 64 colors that you can choose through on the system to choose to which color you want, basically. And there's lights all over the car. I mean, in the door handles, in the gaps between the seats, in the cup holders, there is ambient lighting everywhere. Another cool feature to do with seats are the heated seats for the front seats. Now this was something that I was really looking for when I was looking for this car. I wanted a car with heated seats and yeah, heated seats are just a must, especially in the colder months, you can whack your heated seats on and it gets nice and warm. Something else really cool about the car is the flat bottom the steering wheel which is part of the amg line again so that's the amg steering wheel it's got a flat bottom on it and honestly the design of that at first i wasn't sure about it but now i just i love it and i feel weird when i drive a car with a normal round steering wheel in terms of the infotainment system then in the car so the media system in the car so it's got an upgraded sound system so it's not their top of the range system but it's like their mid-range system so it's got a lot more speakers than you get with the standard range in terms of the screen it's got a bigger screen in the car than standard and it does all your things like sat nav bluetooth and stuff like that but i mainly just have my apple carplay which i installed myself onto the screen i mainly just use the apple carplay and that is such an awesome feature too so the screen is not touch screen but that does not matter i don't care really if it's touch screen or not honestly it's a lot more easier to have the dial which you can use to go through all of your options on the screen than it would be for a touch screen because obviously the dial is more accessible and safer for when you're driving but what's even better than that and even more safer is the controls on the steering wheel so you can literally do anything on the steering wheel that you need to do change your songs answer phone calls whatever wherever you can do it on the steering wheel controls and then really we just have other really cool bits about the car such as the armrest which my arm is resting on now which can slide back and forth so you can pull it forward if you want a bit more space for your arm to rest on or you can push it back if you want to reveal the extra cup holder the car also has automatic folding wing mirrors which i can control inside of the car by pressing a button or when i lock the car the wing mirrors automatically fold in when the car is locked which is really useful and handy if you're parking like in spaces and you don't want to get your wing mirrors ripped off by someone the car also has an auto climate control feature where you can set the temperature and it will set the car to that temperature and not go any more above or any below that temperature which honestly at first i thought this is really confusing and this is a bit weird what's wrong with just a dial but it makes so much more sense like your car stays at the right temperature you know like with your older cars when you had like the dials and that like i know my Polo did it and you turn your heating on and it'll just get hotter and hotter and hotter whereas this it'll just get 
how hot you want it to get and you can just have it at a nice temperature a bit like your heating in your home but anyway guys i think that's everything covered that i need to cover so guys that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys all did go ahead and enjoy let me know guys if you'd like to see more videos like this on my car and guys i will catch you all in tomorrow's video thanks for watching guys see you later yeah.